Welcome back, everybody. This is part number five. This is Don Machi. Is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? Or I refer to it as now as, did I get scammed by a seller that is greedy and opened the bottom of this child deck from the bottom? Uh, we may not be able to figure this out because if they wore gloves, then maybe I won't be able to figure this out. So we're just going to take a nice glance over this trial deck. I know some people were thinking that it could have been tampered with. Some people didn't think it was. It wasn't 100% that people thought this was actually tampered with. So we're going to just go ahead and open this up. We did a base trial on the video before just showing... Uh, w there, there were no fingerprints that I could tell on any of our stuff inside of this trial deck. This time around, we're going to be doing the same thing to see if any of this has any sort of fingerprints. And more, I think, weight carries if there is a fingerprint on the actual card itself. Okay, so we're going to open this up, see if we see anything abnormal. Ugh. Man, I am not used to opening this stuff with gloves. Kind of brutal. I will try to make sure that no matter what I do with my hands, it's all on screen so you know I'm not like switching out cards or anything like that. I think that'd be really stupid and uh, not really the point of these videos. I'm not trying to catch... I'm, I'm actually really nervous. I don't know what's going to come of this. I don't know if they were going to find anything at all. I could just be completely wasting my time and your time doing this. But it uh, just proves the fact that we need to have some trust in our actual... Uh, items that we got and I don't know if I can say that right now so I'm gonna push this plate away so then I can put this stuff right here we're gonna leave this over here so you can still see it on screen this is the the one that we have and then of course so I pull that out this is the way it looked in here more than likely they wouldn't have messed with this because there'd be no reason to so I'm gonna put that off to the side I could have dusted this for fingerprints, I guess. I guess I could have done that, but I didn't <laughs> this video, so we're not going to include that in for now. Actually, I might just dust that plastic after. Let me just throw this back over here. Let me just throw that back. That was the, that was the one. Okay. And we have this. We're going to dust the band itself. So, because people will either grab it from the bottom or the top. And we're going to try to do this as much as possible without, like, sort of messing with it. I'm going to hold the top here. Wouldn't it be fun if there is an SP in here? And I could just be like, well, I guess not. <laughs> that would be ideal. And then that could just end it all. But even a, even a triple rare in here doesn't really mean much to me. Uh, so the cards look really nice. I shared that on the last video. I'm not going to mess with it as much because I don't want to like end up destroying any sort of the cards if there's any sort of fingerprints. So I'm going to just lightly go like this. See if we can see any sort of foil at all on here. I don't see anything. So with that, let's just go right into actual fingerprinting this thing. See, so right here, no sort of foils, which again, a, a trial deck of one, it could mean anything. It could just mean you're super unlucky. Could just mean uh, nothing at all, but we're gonna find out. So what we did on that last video is we checked the backside of this one, of the very last one. So we're gonna continue with that. We also checked some of the cards that were four of. So I'm gonna do that climax one more time because since I opened two, I want a play set of preferably stuff that is not covered with orange powder. And let me do a third one, just so we get a healthy amount of samples. There we go. So we're gonna do three right there. Those are our three that we're gonna pick from. And we're just gonna set this aside. We don't know, no longer need this, so let's go on off there to the side. Okay. So. I'm gonna put this back over here. We're gonna start out with, I'm gonna start out with the cards. We're gonna start out with that Hestia. So I'm gonna, again, try to keep this all on screen so you can see that I did not do anything. I did not mess with it. So you can see these cards right over there. This band, it'll be over here. I just wanna start out with this Hestia card because if anything, if someone touched this without gloves, you would see this uh, fingerprints right on the back of this. This will be, the easiest one to just pick off out of all these. Okay. Yeah, I 
I'm super nervous about this. I, I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong that these were open because I believe in the goodness of people. Right, that, that, that is the one thing I always truly want to believe of people that you don't have people just trying to rip each other off, that everybody's good, kind-hearted, selling. So let's just brush this on, see what we get. And right now, I don't see a dang thing. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything. So that is good. Again, if they wore if they wore gloves, uh, that doesn't. This isn't going to help us whatsoever. I mean, nothing really popped out at me on the actual trial deck itself that looked like it was wrong. The band wasn't wrong. I guess you could always say like, was the order of cards right? Like maybe they put the order of cards wrong. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at somebody. I'd have to go back and look at my. Uh, video in the past just the one i did right before this to see if the order is still the same but when i come to this let's just suck this all up and hit it with some light okay suck this all up and i won't be editing any of this i mean not like i was editing this but that way it keeps everybody into that hole uh, I didn't mess with this. I didn't like pause it or cut something out of the actual videos. Okay, so we're going to turn this light off. We're going to turn this light off and we'll see. And when it comes to this card, I think we're in the clear. Yeah. I just want to shake some off. Yeah, I don't see anything that resembles a fingerprint to me on this it is perfectly fine. So Hestia in the clear. All right, so backside of the card for Hestia, we are good there. I'm just going to shake this off one last time so that we get that nice light play kind of condition. It's a child deck card. I mean, not so bad. Okay, well, since this is sitting on top, let me just, no, no, I'm just going to do the cards. I'm going to keep doing the cards. It was always my hypothesis that uh, what we have here is as someone rummages through cards, you're going to have fingerprints. If they actually did not wear gloves, you will have fingerprints on the left or the right, depending if they are left-handed or right-handed. So let's just check that out right now. Let's run this through. And see what we have. I do not see anything on here. The plus side with this is this is one of those sellers that I had a lot of high hopes for. Uh, this one specifically. Because I know exactly where I got all of these trial decks from because I was trying to uh, find places where I can recommend to people that are trustworthy. So again, I'm going to, more than likely, if this all pans out, I will buy from there again. I will make sure that there's no similar damage. If I see similar damage on the trial deck again, then I'm never going to buy from there again. I, I don't care. And that, that may be Bushy Road's fault on that one for having the damage at the bottom, but... You know, was that saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So, you know, because after these videos come out, I would imagine anybody that is doing this is going to just wear gloves afterwards. You know, they're never going to, <laughs> they are never going to open things. So it's going to be funny to actually see. I think it's one of those ones where if you start seeing a seller uh, after these videos transition, um to two gloves it makes me question on why they did that right like it's actually it makes it makes it more suspect to me to see that if they start opening these things with uh gloves on versus not unless they just don't like they see the fingerprints and don't like seeing it on there but if they were wearing finger if they weren't wearing finger i mean if they weren't wearing gloves before there'd be no reason to do then so on here not a single fingerprint at all this thing is completely clean. So that is it for the cards on that one. 
All right. Cards. Good. Moving to the bands. I mean, I highly doubt if there is no actual fingerprints on there, I highly doubt there would be on the band. You wouldn't just have no fingerprints on those and then just miraculously have some on the plastic. So I, I think this is kind of like a wasted effort right here. Because you would have worn gloves that if there was people that wore gloves, they would have worn gloves throughout the entire process. They wouldn't have uh, done it at the very end. They wouldn't have put it uh, when they're uh, just opening the cards itself, right? Like it, it'd be kind of stupid to do that. But, so wiped it on. I am looking at it. I don't see anything that remotely resembles a fingerprint at all. So, all right, let me do that. It's kind of pain doing this, turning out the light, turning it back on. I will say that. <laughs> Mrs. B did not want to assist with this, so I am on my own. No assistance. All right, see, so right here. Uh, this is harder to see, but I'm looking at this. I'm telling you, there's no fingerprints. This little ball. Uh, I don't see anything that looks like a defined fingerprint from this right here. I know it looks circular, like a, like it could potentially be a fingerprint, but no, I, I don't think it is. So I'm gonna say that is a no on the band. Okay, now. I know I'm going to great lengths here to figure this out, but I really don't like people scamming. This is one of the reasons I made this channel to begin with. I think that's why I'm so hardcore about this right now. It's just because, you know, all that whole mapping dead boxes things, that's what I started out with. I started talking about trial decks. I just don't like having people get ripped off. You worked hard for your money. This is my big thing. You worked really hard for your money. And for someone to come along and just see an opportunity to rip people off really pisses me off. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm doing this. You may be wondering, like, man, you're really going the distance for this. Well, I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. We're trying to keep everybody in the community honest. And if that means fingerprinting cards and plastic, I'm going to do that. That's what we're here for. Okay? So just wipe this on. I don't see a dang thing on this thing. Which is uh, also surprising, just because it's like with the factory that it's this all this stuff is made at. You would think there'd be something on here, just relatively something on here, but I am not seeing anything. Maybe they all wear gloves. They're not like Millennium Print Group. They wear they wear gloves. I don't know, or it could just be that one person. Uh, I could just be lucky and get that person that always wears gloves too on all of this product. I mean, it's not like I'm fingerprinted a million of these child decks, right? I'm fingerprinting only a small sample. But maybe luck's on my side on pulling somebody that doesn't actually wear glo that wears gloves every time. Okay. This looks properly Cheetoed. What do we got? We got something we got some shapes. Let me hold this up. No, no, we don't got anything. And it's like, you'd almost think that's something, but no, it's, it's not forming. I don't see any sort of lines on there. Okay, and let me just do the back side one more time. I'm just going to turn on the one light. I'm not doing both. I'm at that point in the video, I'm not doing both. I'm just going to do the one sign. Now you can also say it's like, well, maybe this trial deck was just mapped. You know, maybe it was just dead. Yeah, I guess. But again, you're never going to be able to really know that. I mean, you have what? There is six triple rares and two uh, SPs inside of a case of 48, which means that uh, eight out of 48, right, is going to be your chances of actually pulling something. So 
uh, you never really know. But yeah, you could you could definitely map you can dead box this thing all you want, but we're never gonna know for sure. That's just how that's how it is when you buy from anybody. You have to hope that they didn't do that. And you have to also hope that you are lucky that day. As you see me, lucky number two is never lucky for me. <laughs> On that last video with uh, with my child deck. So let me just suck this up. Okay. And then we're going to hit the light one more time. We actually have to hit the light two more times. But let's see what we got. Nope, not a, not a print to be found this day, which is good. And then we got one more left. We got our actual trial deck container. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I hope I didn't spill this stuff everywhere. I think that's inside the bag. It actually got in the bag. Look at this. Oop. There we are. This bag is unusable now. It's... it's there's no way I'm using that again. Okay, so that's off to the side. And lastly, here we go. Press you on. I watched uh, The Hobbit the last couple days with my wife. And and a lot of that stuff repeats. And I know it's a, it's from a book, obviously. There's, there's books on this stuff, but if you haven't seen it, it's been a couple years, so you know they they reused the spider. It's nice to see Smeagol. Smeagol, that is something at the top of this container. And there's something here, but this could just be someone closing closing it. So there there looks like something here. Let me just get this excess off, of course. Always got to do that. See, I said before, I'm like, I would imagine someone would have worn gloves through the whole process. I mean, if I was going to rip you off, which I'm not because I don't sell anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't sell a single thing. I don't have anything to sell you. I don't have a store. I don't have any of that. Um, if I were to do that, I mean, I would wear gloves the entire process. The fact that somebody wouldn't wear gloves the entire process is kind of like mind blowing to me. If you're going to do this. Okay. There's something at the top there. I mean, that, that definitely looks like a fingerprint to me. Uh, there's definitely a lot of clumping there. Just shake that off. And then right here where you open it too. All right, see, so this, this part where you open definitely seems suspect. So if I were going to open this, would my fingers actually land there? Yeah, actually it would. See, like, if you try to, in your mind, try to open this up, but at the same time, maybe you're closing it. Maybe they're pressing this down here. They're pressing down with both their hands. You got a mark here. So inconclusive. It would have been nice if this, uh, this could have been... Um, it would have been nice if we got something on our card and then also on the plastic itself. But knowing that Millennium video that I showed, can we really say just based off this plastic if it was open? No, no, we don't know for sure. Just odd, yes. But it could have been someone that originally uh, packaged this up. So I would think then that there should be something on this side too because if you're pressing, well, if you're opening it, there should be prints on both sides. I would think if you're opening it, there'd be prints on both sides. If you are closing it, you're just pressing down. All right, you have this thing, you're pressing, I don't know. I'm just overanalyzing at this point. We're gonna just turn this on, see the front part, see what we get. Let's see. I mean, I don't know all the habits of everybody opening this stuff. I haven't watched enough people to say that. And there we are, dust, dust, dust. I will say this is pretty relaxing. Outside of the whole uneasiness of like doing this, uh, I could see just like doing this for fun. It's kind of relaxing. 
play some light classical music or jazz music and, you know, just go at it. <laughs> It'd be fun. That's probably why on CSI, or, you know, those, those people in the lab got like music going on. Like it's like, it's a normal day. Cause it, it probably is a normal day. You're just relaxing. Maybe you're getting shot at something completely different, but this is just a, a dude fingerprinting stuff. All right. So something on the side, Oop, let me move my hand, something on the side there. Uh, something on the side here. Let me just see, hold on. With my hand, try not to mess this up, but I'm thinking like my hand, where my hand go? And I'm like, you know what? That actually fits, right? Like where my hand would actually be at as I, as I pull this open, just like think about this. You could also say maybe pushing down, but would you close this that way? I don't know. Like, would you close opening it? I would open this way, the way the fingerprints land up, the way these marks anyways land up. I could see myself like holding it in this way where all the, the fingers are, like where these marks are showing up, see? So right here. But... Yeah, up to you. Up to you to think about that. Is, was this really being closed or was this being opened? I almost feel like it's being opened. But that's just me thinking about this one. So that is it for this trial deck. Nothing on the cards, but something on the actual plastic. Was this some worker closing this or was this somebody opening this? I don't know for sure. But that is where we will end here uh, up to the viewers. So hopefully you got what you thought uh, was out of this. Did you think it was messed up, tampered with, or did you think that uh, this was not tampered with? So hopefully this solves it in your mind. If it doesn't solve it in your mind, again, proves the fact that this packaging is really just not the best to actually be using. Bushy Road, I would hope, eventually changes this. If, if any of these videos uh, help their minds sway their mindset, I will gladly call that you know a job well done as always have fun be happy don't spend anything outside of your budget have a good one